What's up everybody, Liam Clisham here for another exciting Redshift tutorial. This week's another quick tip, with the release of 2.5.52, we now have the ability to render colored instances inside of Redshift for Cinema 4D. So we're gonna take a look at that right now. So now that we're inside Cinema 4D, I have an HDRI light set up just with this dome light right there and a camera. The only other things that we need right now is a cloner with an object inside of it, a random effector, and a material. So let's go ahead and start with our cloner, just like that. I'm gonna choose a platonic right over here and throw that into the cloner. And it's kinda of hard to see right now, so I'm gonna turn off this HDRI. And let's go into our cloner. So something about the update that just came out for 2.5.52 is that we can now do colored instances before you could do randomization and get random colors, but it couldn't be on instances. So now that we can, we're gonna go ahead and check this box here for, ran for render instances. I'm gonna up this to say 20. I'm gonna kill this spread apart, and we're gonna control all that with our random effector. So let's go ahead and grab that. Right in here is a random effector. Let's spread this apart a little bit. Maybe a little bit on the X there, a little bit on the Z too. Let's go ahead and put our scale at say like 0.85. It's looking pretty good, I think. So do I want any rotation? Now, let's just leave it as is. We'll keep it pretty simple. So right in here, we're gonna choose our redshift material. Go in and just grab a regular Uber material right there and throw it onto the cloner. So now we can start to see we've got some actual shading to it. It's not blown out. And we'll come in here. And what we're gonna do is start using one of these data nodes. And you'll see we've got quite a few. We've got color, integer, scalar, and vector. What we want is color. Grab that, and let's go ahead and put it in our diffuse. Oop. There we go. And it goes black. And that's because we're not pulling from anything yet. So what we need to do is come over to our random effector and make sure we turn on color. And then under this attribute name, we're gonna to go to MoGraph Color. And just like that, you'll see we start to get randomization of colors. And these are all instances, so it keeps it super light. So I wanna go in here and turn on our dome light again so we can really see this. And like I said, it's super fast. If I turn on bucket rendering, it's already done doing its point cloud and it's all set there. If we update this, let's say we want 50 because they're instances, it's gonna be super fast. This is all bucket rendering right now. If I go back to progressive, you'll see extremely lightweight. And let's, just for giggles, let's see if we can crash it. We'll do 500 instances, nothing. So it, it's just super lightweight now. You can have random colors whenever you want and it's super easy and fast. All right, that's it for this week. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below in the comments or send me a message directly. Also, if you wanna interact one-on-one, -on -one, every Thursday we do Redshift Live. It's a streaming event where you guys can chime in through chat. I answer questions and tackle any problems you may be having inside of Redshift. Thanks again so much for joining us and I'll see you soon.